All right, guys, that's with the uh, protective screening or coating on it off. That's what it looks like. So that is the new. All right, guys, that's what it looks like. It's got a funny re uh, coating on it. It almost like doesn't like to film it because the way it's got the uh, anti-reflective coating on it. But that's what it looks like without the uh, cover on it. I'm going to show you guys the sides and the... Uh, other inputs, but that is the Dell U3011 monitor. Looking forward to some high def, really high def gaming now. As here's the side of it. All right, I want to zoom in here, come in for you guys. As you see, there's a SD card reader and HDMI's. Two of them on the side. This is on the left side of the monitor. That's what the stand looks like from the side. Alright, so you guys got a good side angle of what it looks like. So here's the back of it. Pretty cool looking. Dell written in big letters in the back. I don't know what the stand looks like. Uh, the DVI cable is already attached. Comes like that in the bag. And attached to the monitor. So they have already attached that cable for you. Uh, the second one is there for, I guess, if you're running multiple monitors, um, you know, with separate video cards, so you have that too. What's up, guys? Sloppy Wet Blow. Got the monitor on, showing you guys. I don't know if you could pick up. Um, dude, the monitor is awesome. Um, I've tried some games on it. It's um, it's hard to explain it. Uh, I am a big 1920 by 1080 fan, meaning, you know, I'm big into home theater, so it's not like I'm just some rookie at it. You know, I have um, I've had high definition since it started. Um, the jump up is just breathtaking. I mean, it's it the picture is so much more tighter. Like you, you at this resolution, you know, you you could play games with no anti-aliasing. It's just the resolution is so high; it makes everything so crystal clear. It makes every all the tree branches. I mean, it's just breathtaking. I've left anti-aliasing on in a few games just to try it, and um, it's awesome. The colors on this thing is mind blowing. It's got to be neck and neck with how much better the resolution is. The colors pop. I mean, I don't know if you can see by the the characters, but they just, it, it, they're just so vivid, and the grays and the blacks are beautiful, notice a huge difference in grays and blacks, with games where, even after calibrating my other monitor, and it was an LED 32 inch, I would notice that there was some scenes that you would have floors or dark areas that you just couldn't see properly, and no matter what I did, I couldn't, I just think the TV just can't calibrate to that kind of level where you can get to where the dark areas come clear, you know, that you could see. With this is just unbelievable. I mean, the grays and blacks are just gorgeous, dude. Guys, if you guys can somehow one day get this kind of monitor to game on, you will be so happy. Uh, Club 4G HC, um, awesome guy in the community. He's one of the major reasons. You know, everybody's saying, you know what, GTX 670 and 1920 by 1080, it's not getting pushed. And let me tell you something. I did a little Metro with the game maxed out. Oh my God, it brings the 670 to its knees. Uh, I'll be doing, obviously, some benchmarks and all that stuff. Um, I did leave out a little specs. Uh, I want to give you that, guys. I just want to tell you, because I didn't say it on the thing. But anyway, here's the connectivity on the back of the monitor. You got um, two HDMI inputs. You got two uh, DVID inputs with HDCP. I don't know what that means. Probably copy protection, I'm not really sure. One display port, which is uh, famous for the uh, AMD or ATI cards, to run the, um, uh, what the hell is it called? Um, I forgot what they called it. Anyway, they have surround gaming, where you run three monitors. I'm having a blonde moment right now. Alright, you got one VGA input, uh, you got one USB 2.0 upstream port, and you got four USB 2.0 downstream ports. Seven-in-one media reader, that was the side I showed you guys and the regular power. Um, I'm going to show you some benchmarks and we'll do all that and stuff, but my review of this is 
absolutely thumbs up. Uh, Battlefield 3 looks unbelievable on this thing. Crisis 2, unbelievable. Everything. I mean, it's just... How do you explain it? I mean, guys, think of 480p, which was like the... Excuse me, the early phase of high definition. I mean, it's technically high def, but it's garbage. 480p resolution. Compare that to 1920 by 1080. Okay, so think about it. You're, you know, that jump up. It's it's that much. I mean, it's just unbelievable. It's one of the coolest things I've ever witnessed. I'm happy I jumped in to try this because... And other things I wanted to talk about quickly is... Um, the refresh rate on this is 7 milliseconds. Um, I've read on Andin Tech and a couple sites where the input input lag on this thing is bad. Well, let me tell you something. Um, my other monitor was a low refresh rate, same hertz, 60 hertz. Um, there was no input lag on this thing. There's not. I mean, I, I, I gotta, gotta tell you something. When you even load web pages really quick, like, or scroll up and down, you get no lagging. Um, I had one of, one of the viewers asking about input lag and is it worth it to get a 120 hertz monitor compared to going up in resolution there is no comparison i don't care if you got 1920 by 1080 with a 700 hertz refresh rate it's useless compared to this kind of resolution meaning as long as this doesn't have you know lagging which would get on my nerves i would have returned it it is breathtaking it is awesome gaming is incredible i mean plus i like the higher ratio um it's not 16.9, it's 16.10, so you have a little more upward, as you see, and it gives you a lot more viewing area, so when you're opening web pages. So, all in all, I give this thing a 10 out of a 10, and that's being, like, conservative. They built an am amazing monitor here. It's awesome. I'm blown away. I, I went into it going, you know what, I don't know what I'm going to think about this. But hands down, I give it a 10 out of a 10. Gaming's awesome. You'll see it. I mean, unfortunately, I'm filming it with an iPad 3, so, you know, take it for a grain of salt. Um, when I record Fraps, looks great. But again, when you upload it to YouTube, it gets compressed a little. So I'll do the best I can to show you guys for what it really does. But guys, it is awesome. YouTube, get ready.